Traffickers lured the child victims to the United States with the promise of schooling and a better life. The parents of some of the victims even signed over deeds to their properties back home as collateral for debt incurred to pay for the journey. What makes this Marion case even more alarming is that a U.S. government agency was actually responsible for delivering some of the victims into the hands of the abusers. But whatever your views on immigration policy, everyone should be able to agree that the administration has a responsibility to ensure the safety of the migrant kids that have entered government custody until their immigration court date. I find the situation in front of us today unacceptable, and I am disgusted and angry. HHS placed one 16-year-old with a sponsor who claimed to be her cousin. In fact, he was completely unrelated to her and had paid for her to come to the U.S. as a mail-order bride. The minor, who had endured a sexual assault in her home country, was forced to have sex with her sponsor. I want to be clear that we view the Marion, Ohio labor trafficking case as a deeply dismaying event. Child safety is a priority for us. We are committed to making, continuing to make revisions to strengthen our policies, to learn all that we can from this and our ongoing experiences in operating the program. Can you fire Mr. Kerry? Uh, I, I'm not asking you if you're yeah, gonna. Yeah. I'm asking if you can. Uh, uh, no, I, I, I frankly don't know. I would need to talk with colleagues in the department, and I certainly have no reason that I would wish to. Senator McCaskill, I, I'd hope that you would both recognize the number of changes and improvements we've made in the last year. I've, you made a great in we, improvement three days ago. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure it would have happened if it wasn't for this hearing, but you did. So let's, let, I mean, no question, in the last six months, you guys have gotten busy. My question is, what's been going on since 2008? And why would you sit here and say the law doesn't give you any ability to protect these children? They're in the hands of coyotes, right? The, uh, the majority of them, right? Often. You know, Mr. Greenberg, you're a very interesting witness. You and I know that the overwhelming majority of them are paid, coyotes are paid to bring them to the United States. They ride on the top of trains and they often fall off and are killed. More importantly than that, young women who are brought by coyotes are invariably sexually abused on the way. We know that, right? We, we, we know that happens often, Senator. Up until three days ago, it was the policy of HHS that it was okay if other adults in the house had been convicted of sex crimes with children. I agree that's a change that needed to be made and I'm glad we made it. That doesn't give me a lot of confidence. May I clarify the policy as it, as it existed did not present provide an absolute bar based on a criminal history, but it does not mean that this, uh, the criminal history was assessed, and if it was seen as a threat to the child, the reunification did not take place.